Hello, Gary Hernandez here. <clears throat> Welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your horn for a couple of takedowns. Now, helping me in this is one of my Kane students, Mr. Bob. Now, first technique we're going to do is a pretty simple technique. It really only has two moves in it. So, Mr. Bob starts to come in. I strike into the groin, move out, hook the neck, yank. If necessary, then I can strike them again. Let me slow that down. As he comes in with my right hand, because it's in my right hand, striking into the groin, pulling it out quickly, he may stagger a little bit, so I'm not sure which direction he's gonna go. Notice when he get hit, he starts to bend over. I step to one side, taking my cane, I do not want to strike him. If I strike him, he's going to fall that way. So I want to hook the neck, put some pressure downward, release him, and then I can strike him if necessary. I did a video a while back on how to hook and release because you don't want to lose your cane as they're falling. Now, if it's in my left hand and, and I don't want to use my horn, having to switch my hands, I'm going to use the tip portion of the shaft here. Mr. Bob steps in, striking into the groin, stepping to one side. Again, <clears throat> I don't want to hit him to where he falls too far at an angle. So I catch him to the back of the neck, pushing him downward, and then if necessary, I can strike him. <clears throat> so as he comes in, very important, when you hit somebody in the groin, very important you pull that cane out quickly. Notice I'm just a simple step and I'm gonna hook. If I'm on the other side and I hit and I pull out, I'm sim a simple step and I'm catching them to the back base of the neck with a pushing down motion. <clears throat> Another way you can use your horn for a takedown is he starts to come in, whoops, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go for the solo plex on this one. He starts to come in, bend that strike to the solo plex. Swinging in, hooking his knee, lifting up as I move backwards to get him to fall backwards. Unhooking him again, and then if I have to, I can follow up with a strike. So, we're gonna slow that one down a little bit. As he starts to come in, I do a bayonet strike. Always remember, bayonet strike, make sure that horn is pointed outward. From there, I simply shift, hook, right here. Once I hook, now I can hook the calf or behind the knee. Once I do that, I lift up. As he goes down, I'm gonna unhook him. That way, I'm not being dragged with him. So I pull it up and then I can strike if necessary. Thank you, sir. Make sure, Mr. Bobby, everybody, for one second. Make sure, as he was coming in, once I hit him, he's, he's going to go backwards a little bit. Make sure you take a step and you have that clearance that you've closed the gap there. When you hook, hook with two hands. Don't try to hook with one. Now, you can hook the leg and kick the knee, but that's another self-defense technique we'll do later on. This one here, once I hook that leg, very important, as I pull up, depending on their weight and leverage, I'm going to move backwards and yank up like that. Thank you, sir. So work those techniques. The one of the most important things about both of those, where you're hooking them, is being able to unhook. So again, you need to learn how to unhook, so A, your cane doesn't get caught up with them. <clears throat> B, your cane doesn't get yanked out of your hands. C, you don't get yanked with your cane to the ground. So hopefully those techniques help. Work on them. As I say, make them your own. <clears throat> Gary Hernandez, thank you, and I will see you guys very soon.